In his video address on Monday, Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky made a significant claim in the context of Russia's ongoing war in his country that Ukraine has so far in September retaken 6,000 square kilometers of its territory in the eastern and southern provinces from Russia. The BBC reported on this claim with the caveat that this figure was not independently verified and that Zelensky was vague about which exact areas in the east and south of the country have been, quote, liberated. But local reports from the BBC and citations of Ukrainian officials made by the Institute for the Study of War show that the largest claimed gains appear to have been made in Kharkiv Oblast, specifically the cities of Izium and Kupiansk. Valery Marchenko, mayor of Izium, told the BBC the Ukrainian army was in his city and the state flag had been raised. The military is now engaged in cleaning up the war-torn city and Ukrainian forces are searching for Russian soldiers potentially hiding in people's houses. Mr. Marchenko said that after about 10 days, residents who had to flee the city would be able to return safely. Russia has been accused of targeting civilian infrastructure in revenge for setbacks on the battlefield. A wave of missile strikes on Sunday caused massive power cuts across northeastern Ukraine, leaving tens of thousands of people without electricity and running water for several hours. The BBC reported, adding that Russia has referred to its troops withdrawal from these areas as a tactical regrouping, shifting its focus to the Lugansk and Donetsk strongholds. As such, the next major battlefront in Kharkiv Oblast for Ukraine is the city of Lyman. Russian military bloggers reported that Ukrainian and Russian forces are fighting around Lyman, but that Lyman remains under the control of Russian and proxy forces. Some Russian sources also voiced concerns that Ukrainian troops are trying to cross the Seversky Donetsk River around Zakitne, around 15 kilometers southeast of Lyman, to take back Yampil. Russian sources are seemingly focused on the Lyman Yampil line as the next potential target for Ukrainian advances, the ISW said. Later on Tuesday, Russia's defense ministry claimed that a Mi 35 attack helicopter of the Russian army had made more than five combat sorties per day in order to disrupt Ukraine's counteroffensive around Izium. Russia state media TASS has reported. Major Denis Bulak and Senior Lieutenant Sergei Yerslankin, as part of the crew of the Mi-35 attack helicopter of the Army Aviation of the Western Military District, carried out air support tasks for motorized infantry units to disrupt the counteroffensive by the Kiev regime formations in the direction of Izium, making over five combat sorties every day, both day and night. Having assessed the situation, the helicopter crew approached the identified targets at an extremely low altitude and utilized firepower. As a result of the strike, the column of armored vehicles and the deployment site of the enemy's manpower were destroyed. Tass quoted the Ministry of Defense as saying, For the print, this is Raghav Bikchandani. For more, log on to theprint.in and follow us on social media.